Yo, what is up everybody? I am Legend and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to record better vocals and harmony to sound more professional. You guys asked, so I figured today would be a great follow up to that video. Let's dive into the tutorial right now. Let's go. <laughs> Hopefully we're not gonna have any issues like the last video. Yesterday I released a video for crazy recording techniques to make your vocals and harmonies sound professional and things like that. And they were mostly focused around stacking, different types of stacking, regular stacking, harmony stacking, octave stacking, and like some panning and different things like that. You guys have seen my how to record vocals and harmonies video, which I demonstrated how to do like harmonies and record four stacks a piece and things like that. But there are other techniques that I demonstrated that I wanna show you how to do today. I'm gonna work in garage band obviously today with this song i'm working on called 360 it's going to be off of my next project or boris which is coming out hopefully on october 23rd can't wait to release it for you guys but um yeah so i already started recording this so i'm gonna build on what i already have and show you guys the process of how i would go about recording these different types of stacks here is what i have so far i have the lead vocal i have my four stacks for that lead so there's five vocals total they're panned uh 64 negative 64 plus 64 uh negative 30 and plus 30 but i'm going to be trying to do the 16 stacks or maybe 12 because i don't know if i want to do 16 or if my computer can handle 16 so um we're gonna go ahead and build on this and see how it sounds but starting right off here's how it sounds with the four stacks that i have so far we don't even have to be I love the song. Looking back at all of our plans as they disappeared and so it's very full already. I honestly don't think it needs more, but just to see if it'll make an effect, make a change, I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, four to eight more stacks because I really don't think my computer can handle 16 with all these tracks that I already have on here. So we'll try it out. So let's go ahead and start. I've already duplicated my tracks. Make sure when you duplicate your tracks to have all the same settings, at least in GarageBand, that you go ahead and pan these tracks once again because you, know, you wanna make sure that you're getting that equal distribution. So let's go to the first first one and we're gonna sing this melody one more time and one thing a little uh, recording hack that I like to do is when I'm recording stacks I click the top bar right here and I'll highlight the area that I'm stacking uh, a little bit before obviously so I get some leeway but this makes it much easier than having to constantly click back to the beginning beginning of the phrase that you're stacking and then record then click back again it'll automatically start every time at that space that you're looking to record at so and we'll start with the first stack we don't even have to become friends I held you near but nothing lasts forever Now I know we had to win So let's go on to number two Or technically number six We don't even have to become friends I held you near but Make sure when you're recording, everything is exactly timed as you did in the previous one. All your D's end up on the same D. All your S's end up on the same S's. Everything cuts off exactly the same. That'll really help uh, you to to get this uniform sound instead of your vocal sounding like they're all chopping off and ended off at different points. Didn't think I'd ever come back, but girl, here I stand. And one thing that I like to do is I like to use part of the beat as a cutoff so that I'm always all uh, on beat when I do the cutoff so but girl here I stand that way it's not stand a bunch of D's so that's a little another uh, recording hack that you can use when you are recording vocals last one if you guys see me take this thing it's because I'm having breathing trouble with the the season changes it's really messing with my asthma bear with me here didn't think I'd ever come back but girl here I stand all right eight stacks for the lead nine total stacks for that one part now the panning should be a little bit different here i think maybe i've never done eight before i've only done four but i think we'll probably play around with we already got 64 64 30 and 30 so that's the panning in garage band basically 100 percent and 50 percent. now let's go i'm gonna try and go like around mid-range so instead of 100 i mean instead of 64 let's go in the middle like about 45 to the left 45 to the right you want to cover all the ground and then instead of 30 we'll do 15 to the left and 15 to the right 
We don't even have to be close friends. I held you near, but nothing lasts forever. Now I know we had to win. Now for this song, personally, I think this is too much. It's all down to personal preference. It's all down to what sound you're trying to go for and how it affects the track as a whole i personally think maybe if i turn these down it'll sound a little bit better because right now i think this sounds like it's overkill let's turn it down to about negative 6.5 decibels and see what we get here we don't even have to become friends i held you in here but i think forever Eh, it's a little bit better. Let's see, we got 30 and 30. I would probably, it's probably because these 15 and 15 pans. So let's take this, the other ones are at 45 and 45. Let's take it to uh, 53 and 53 and spread it out a little bit more and see if that helps. That sounds better. Okay, okay, I think we're getting it. I think we're getting it. So when I first recorded these, it didn't it sounded like it was too much, it was overbearing, but that's why you have to play around with the volumes, the panning, the different things like that, so you can get that right sound if you want to have that more full sound. It's not always going to be you have to set it at this pan. You have to I mean for your first four, I think it should be the 64 and the 30, 64 and 30. But if you want to stack more, it, you can basically experiment with how you how much you want it to to pan and things like that and then also i turn down the mix like it's not so drastic so i i like this full sound let's mute these and see how it sounds in comparison to just those four we don't even have to become friends i held you near but and then with those added four we don't even have to become friends i held you near but it still needs a little bit of work um probably just needs to be cleaned up with the you know the cuts coming in since i'm recording it so fast but i think once it's cleaned up and everything is recorded exactly how the previous one was this will sound a whole lot better but right now i think it's sounding it's sounding pretty good and i want to step into the next part that i was talking about uh, i'm definitely not going to do 16 stacks on here because my computer can barely handle it because i have all these plugins this is one drawback about GarageBand. they don't have bus channels so when you have all these effects on literally like i think i have like 32 to 40 tracks on here or however much this is it's going to put a lot of strain on your computer on your processor your ram keep that in mind if you're using GarageBand. this is where you're, where you want to step into using a program like logic which is the bigger brother to garage band it's just just as simple I would say but it's got the more professional features like bus channels which you just apply these apply these effects to the bus channel and that'll apply effects to every single track that you link to that channel it's complicated stuff but anyway this, so now we're gonna go ahead and step into octave stacking which I have already done in this track but I'm gonna show you exactly how I would do it octave stack would either I would either go low we Oh, that's really low. We don't even have to be friends. I have. So I'm not going to sing that low because, uh, well, that might sound actually pretty dope. But for right now, I'm going to sing the higher octave because it's, it's easier for me to do so. We don't even have to be friends. I, I basically duplicated these uh, tracks into four new tracks down here. So it has all the same filters and everything applied. And I did my panning 64, 64, uh, 30 and 30. With the higher notes, I turned that down a little bit because since I have less control over my, my higher range, I tend to sing a little bit louder when I'm higher uh, because I'm trying to hit those notes. I'm trying to push those notes out. What you want to do is you come in here and you record. We don't even have to become friends. We don't even have to become friends. Sorry, it's, it's all over the place. We, we don't, don't even have to become friends. I held you near, but nothing lasts forever. Now I know we had to win. I'm extremely not warmed up, but that's okay. We're gonna clean this up with some auto tune because I'm just trying to push through this stuff. Friends, I held you nearby. Next one. And you, as you can see, this is why the looping is so powerful. We don't even have to be. <coughs> that was terrible. We don't even have to be. Gotta be on. Gotta be on. Forever now, I know Goodness gracious, it's tough. Ever now. We had to win. 
you do the panning and you get the octaves in there and let's hear what the octaves sound like we don't even have to be good friends i had you nearby nothing lasts forever now i know we had to win and then we'll hear it with the regular notes here we don't even have to be good friends i held you nearby nothing lasts forever and that and then we'll put both together and show you the grand feeling that it gives. We don't even have to be come friends. I held you yeah. nearby. Nothing lasts forever. Now I know we had to win. Sounds really dope. Huh? That's really how you do octave stacking. And if I wanted to, let me unmute these other four stacks of the main one. And, and let's see how that sounds in comparison. Let's see if it helps it out a little bit. We don't even have to be come friends. I held you nearby. Last forever. It gives a little bit more. I, I, I kind of like that. Back at all yeah. Of plans, sounds a lot more full. A lot more beefy. Then, yes. Yes. definitely can't handle it. We gotta do the airy stacks, so. And then we're going to record four stacks of just whispering. Hard part about the whispering stacks is you're using more breath, so you're gonna have to take more breaths. Maybe it doesn't matter as much because in the actual singing, it's gonna like cover up those <sighs> breaths and things like that. So let's just find out. We don't even have to be gone, friends. I held you near, but nothing lasts forever now. It's so weird to sing without singing notes. Looking back at all of our plans as they disappeared and didn't think I'd ever come back, but girl, here I stand. We don't even have to be come friends. I held you near, but I feel like Voldemort is like trying to cut an album right now. <laughs> didn't think I'd ever. One thing I do notice is my consonants, 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 however you say that word, are a little bit off. So like all the D's and C's and the all that stuff. So it's gonna throw off the timing of all the other things. Like it's gonna be like, looking back, it's gonna all the, like the P's and stuff is gonna be off. But let's see how the whispers sound with these stacks. We're at negative 7.5 and let's just, let's just, let's see what it does. We don't even have to be come friends. I held you near, but nothing lasts forever now. Okay, one thing <laughs> one thing I can I can say for sure is it's definitely too loud. It sounds you can literally hear the whispers. You don't want it to be so blatant that you can hear those whispers. Uh so we want to turn those down to where you can still hear the effect, but without it sounding like Voldemort is featured on this track. We don't even have to be come friends. I held you near but that sounds better. nothing lasts forever. Now I know Let's mute the track. To win. Looking back at all of our plans yeah. as they disappeared. And now it's still a little bit too loud. Maybe in this case, I think having those additional four stacks of that melody that i just deleted will make it sit more in the in the background because right now they're still too loud i don't want to turn them down because then i feel like i'm going to lose that effect let's let's see if that helps we don't even have to be come friends i held you yeah near, but nothing lasts forever now i know we had to win looking back at and let's take this down just a little bit more to negative 15. And for those of you who ask me, I mean, I'll probably make a video about this as well. What I do when I mix is I mix while I'm editing. I don't like to record and then mix after I'm finished. Uh, I mean, obviously I do, but that's just like making little minor adjustments. But I usually mix my tracks while I'm recording so that, you know, it's all all gravy by the time I finish recording the track and nothing has to be fixed. This camera is overheating, so that's going to cut off. Um, so we'll be focused on the GoPro for now. We don't even have to be Sounds a lot better. With the track. Nothing lasts forever. Now I know we had to win. Looking back at all of our plans as they disappeared and didn't think I'd 
I love how this sounds. Oh, I love music. I love making music. Let's cut these out and hear how it sounds without the whispers. We don't even have to be it still sounds good, but there's a notable difference. Because this is a beautiful song, man. This is the closing song of the album. We don't even have to. Come on, come on. Yes. 300, Okay, well, I mean, <laughs> that's, yeah, it's, it's going to keep doing this because I, I, I have this screen recording going and it's taking up a lot of memory. So, so my computer is definitely not going to handle this track anymore. Uh, so I want to go ahead and stop the recording here. But if you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Hit all so you will be notified every time I upload a brand new video like this one. As always, stay legendary, guys. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.